Hello guys, I'm gonna do a quick video. I'm sorry about the audio, my audio recorder battery just died. So I'm just making this without the audio recorder, but it will get better hopefully sometime in this video. So I'm going to be doing a tip on how to use your tripod as a stabilizer. I'm very sorry if you hear wind, it's just how it is, it's quite a windy day, but I thought I'd do a video anyway. So with this stabilizer, you can use, with your tripod, I'm sorry, you can use it as a stabilizer. And here's a general tip that the heavier your tripod is, the generally the more stable it is. So if you can attach something to your stabilizer through the, if there's a hook down the bottom, you can do that. If not, just make do with what you've got. So I'm going to get my tripod out, and this is my tripod, and it does not have to be as complicated as this. You can get your normal photo tripod out with the bullhead and everything. So what you have to do is make sure that you have your tripod on here, yeah. and you sorry your camera, and then you can use your tripod in the close position like this. If you have one of these things here, you can use this as an extra sta extra stabilization. You don't need to, of course. So you just place your camera on here, and you use this, and then you can start recording away. Make sure you lock down what you want, what you wanted. And you can use it like that with your camera on top of here. Obviously, I can't record it with my camera because I'm recording this right now. So you can record it like this. Um, you can use the feet down here as a sort of a. You can, you know, you or your feet as an extra stabilization platform. And if you wanted to uh, just keep it steady without using like a tripod, say you're in the street and you, you don't have enough time to do that for running gun, and you don't have a monopod, you can just do this. And it would be stable enough, not enough to um, not make the viewer sick, but also just make it have a freeform movement, especially in the street, if you're doing that kind of stuff. Um, so if you don't have a stabilized camera, you can use a tripod, like I've said before. So you can use like that, you can place a camera, and then you can just move around like this, and pan, and you can run, and or, or do any of that stuff. What you can also do is if you unlock this, you can also do it as so, as a quasi shoulder rig. So if I place my camera, oh, sorry, my tripod, as vertical as it can go and lock it both ways, now I've got a shoulder rig here. And this can work if you have a light tripod, because then you can, if you can, you can place a camera weight on the top, and you can have it freestanding. If not, this can be very useful as well. So you can create your videos like this, although this it might slant down, so you may have to compensate by doing that. And if you have a tilting screen, I do recommend you use that, although you might have to change your arm, your shoulder if you're using that. So it depends which way. I will put a video sample right after this, but those are the two ways you can generally change your rig, or your tripod, I mean. And you can actually change it with other ones, but those are the ones I do like to use a lot. But if it calls for anything, for example, you can get your tripod here and just put it all the way just to stabilize it. You can even use it as a sort of a, I don't know, steady cam, if you must, instead of a shoulder rig, by having side arm, maybe there's a point you can pull, pull on, maybe like this here. I can do that and it'll kind of stabilize. You, you could try with the weights and all, and how heavy you want it to fit. You can just play around with the tripod, that's what I just recommend. But the heavier the tripod generally is, the more stable it is. But, if you don't have a tripod, or you don't use a tripod, or don't have one, I can recommend something, and this is a Gorillapod. You can buy this for $15, there are actually cheaper versions that are made by knockoff companies, which work almost as well. And it allows you to move around like this. And with this, you, you get your fairly light camera, or if you have the adapter, you can get the tripod version of, of the iPhone version of it. And you can just move it around like so. And what I saw is that if you put it in a tripod shape, like this, sort of a tripod shape like that, you can put this against your chest, like here, and record a video like this. It won't be as steady, but you can, it adds a third point, or just a point of contact, so you can get even stable shots. It won't be as stable as this tripod, but it, it, it does the job. If you can get the bigger ones, get them, they'd be better. Although, if you're getting them, you might as well just get a normal tripod. You could also do it this way, 
Um, I won't be doing it this way because I don't know why you would do that. It's a bit unstable and you would need a bigger tripod for that. And you just mess around with it. You could maybe probably use it as a sort of a grip, maybe. If you just move this around here. You could probably use it as a grip, so something like that. I, I, I wouldn't know why you'd want to do that. So the next portion will be of the um, video test. So first I will do just no stabilization, nothing, just the camera with the IS disabled. And then I will add this, which you can just like that. Then it'd be as a shoulder rig, like this. And finally, just a simple test with this Gorilla Quad. And I hope you guys enjoyed this portion and we're now going to test which one works the most effectively. Alright, so as you can see, this is the one without anything, no stabilization, just me holding it close to my body. And as you can see, it's really shaky on the corners and the sides because of the there's no stabilization. And as you can see, it does sort of its job well. It is not going to be useful in many subjects though. So next, I did something which well, I didn't say I would do, but I did anyway because I thought it'd be useful. And it was to use the neck strap and just have it taut against my neck, and you can see it recording. As you can see, it's much better, although it, there are a little bit of shakes on the edges and stuff. So, but it is much better than the other one in that regard. But now we have the first one I told you, the one where the tripod is just straight. As you can see, it's much more stabler because of the extra weight. So now if I walk, although it is still shaky, as you can see, it is much, much better. You can use it as a sort of walking shot, maybe, when you're trying to create something like that. And as you can see, it's way more stabler in that uh, regard also. Next, we have the um, one where I use it as a shoulder rig with the tripod against on my shoulder instead of just one bit. And as you can see, it's really stable as well. You, you might, it depends on preference in this opinion because, you know, it just depends on which one you like because they all, they, they all both look really well, really good. And this one seems a bit stabler, but there's not much of a difference. So I would say it's your opinion on that one because it looks pretty good in both ones. As you can see, the heavier the tripod, the better. So you can get um, less shaky shots. Also, a wide angle lens would also do well. And now this is the Gorilla Pod lens on my chest. You could also put it on your shoulder as well. But as you can see, it's uh, shaky. Um, I, I didn't expect it to turn out like this. I expected it to turn out better because I saw videos on it and it looked really nice but as you can see it's not that good and that's it um, that's the comparison see ya